Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. Today, we're going to be talking about Rick and Morty Season 6, Episode 5, starting at the old Panda Express, which, fun fact, I have never been to one. Uh, so, yeah, there's not one locally where I live and where I went to college and where I was in a major city that I will not name. But, uh, yeah, let's, anyway, continue with the episode. So, they're all eating Panda Express, they're having a good time, and then we get to the point where they, uh, open their fortunes, and, uh, Jerry says his, he's gonna F his mom, uh, basically, is, is, the, <laughs> is the gist of it, uh, and, and he's kind of freaking out about it, like, he, he was like, there's no way this can be real, uh, the whole family's having a good laugh at them. Uh, they want to go to the zoo. Um, <laughs> we got that fun picture right there. Uh, Jerry then decides to put on Morty's clothes, and the reason behind it, he was like, oh, well, maybe if I pretend to be Morty, then I'll F my mom, uh, and then that means him and Beth will uh, do the do, if you will. <laughs> At least that's his logic. Um, Rick then tricks the family, saying, oh, no, like it's real, it's possible. Uh, so, so then Beth, Space Beth, R uh, Morty, and Summer kind of go do their own thing. And this is going to be a Jerry Rick episode. Uh, so Rick actually powers up the machine, and he was like, wait a minute, this is weird. It's coming up as a probability. Uh, what he does as an experiment is in these two boxes, he writes the name of Jerry's mother in one, uh, and the other has nothing in it. And he was like, all right, let's do a hypothetical here. And uh, he's like, put, put your dong in the box. And he was like, can I just not do that and say which one I would? And somehow, Jerry is able to choose the box with his mother's name in it every single time to a T, uh, to a point where Rick scans himself. He was like, oh, good, you know, I, I, I'm just as likely to turn into a dolphin as I am to uh, turn into a golf ball or something along those lines. <clears throat> something that could never possibly happen. Uh, so, they go to Panda Express, back to it to see what's going on, and they get in this giant cool fight, Rick shooting up the place, and then <clears throat> he was like, oh, no, no, I'm not here about the uh, meth lab that you're cooking in the back. Uh, I am actually here about uh, where the, you get the fortune cookies from. He was like, oh, I don't know, major mistake, it's fine, it's fine, it's, it's fine. It's fine. He's like, yeah, sorry about all the dead guys, and the guy's like, yeah, come to the territory, you know, you know we're making meth here. Um... So he was like, oh, well, for my silence, I'm taking your, 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 you know, your, your truck. At uh, which point they go to this uh, factory that makes fortune cookies. Uh, Rick has this, like a crazy spy eye, which is a new gadget that we haven't seen. We get, oh, there we go. Nice picture of Jerry's butt. The little Sailor Moon sequence that we saw. Uh, basically just some disguises blending into the wall. Um, I'm already forgetting who this is supposed to be. To Gwyneth Patro or something, um, not super important. Uh, super successful woman. Let's let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's see. Actually, we'll play the clip for like two seconds to see if it shows. It says her name. Patro, oh, it's Jeneth Patro. So I think yeah, Gwyneth Patro. I'm guessing that's making fun of. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to look up that actor later. Anyway. She's like, yeah, you can do anything you want. You can be super successful. All this fun jazz. Kind of kind of one of those, like, pep talk types of deal. Uh, here, they're giving all of these people raises. Uh, this guy, they're like, oh, you're poor. Um, and you're going to get attacked by something, I think it is. He's going to getting attacked by something. Let's see what we got here. Maybe not. I could have sworn he got attacked by something. My uh, TV decided to crap out because I'm watching it through a Roku on, this, on the app. Um, and I think it just so many people are watching this when it comes out, there is a bad habit of buffering. So maybe I need to start watching the, And this is around the part where it started buffering and I missed a couple of seconds. Uh, but cool little fight here. Uh, the fortune cookies that the, that the security guards ate allowed them to be really good shots, uh, and be better fighters crawling around its events. And this giant crazy f monster thing, uh, poops out. Um, fortunes, because it has a stomach ache, they come true. 
and then this guy is in love with the alien, and he's the one that makes the fortune, puts them in there. So basically, you're giant, you're eating giant crazy alien poop, um, and you know it kind of spits out random things, but because it has a tummy ache, um, it actually makes them come true. So that's that's where fortune cookies come from, I guess, uh, which is really interesting. And this guy, um, basically the old dude is trying to get people to help, so that's why he released a bunch of you know. Uh, you will F your mom fortune cookies uh, in order to do that. And as I said, he's he's in love with the monster. Uh, I feel like this is the some sort of throwback to something. I don't know. Uh, the cookie people bring in Jerry's mom because J until Jerry does it with his mom, he's essentially immortal. So basically, until your fortune comes true, nothing can happen to you. And then when it comes true, anything can happen to you. Uh, at least that's the gist of what I got from the episode. Um... So, we just go into a crazy fighting sequence, um, you know, everybody gets all these superpowers, this guy is immortal, but he, you know, he gets shot and can literally feel everything. Uh, Rick just st starts downing a bunch of different cookies. Um, Jerry, as I said, impossible for Jerry to die at this point in time. Oh, gotta, gotta pause that. Don't want to get any copyright going on here, I got copyright for 8 seconds worth of material the other day. Um, I mean, it's still up, but, uh, like, I can't ever make money off of it. Not that I'm making money off of YouTube videos yet. I gotta wait till the 15th for that. She gets free. Starts causing some havoc. Um, Rick wants to keep her and basically use her to get whatever he wants. But, uh, yeah, there you have Jerry's mother, Spread Eagle. Uh, Jerry's pants fly off. Um, and, and that's the scene, that's the scene that's pro, I'm gonna, I might make that, I think that that's, this is a good spot to make this my, um, my, uh, my thumbnail. <laughs> and, um, Jerry then quickly creates the last fortune ever where he does not, uh, d do the deed with his mom. Uh, at this point, be Rick had a fortune previous in the episode that said, you know, you would make a good friend or something. And he's essentially immortal. And then, you know, Jerry gives him one that says, thank you. And he was like, wow, way to, way to waste the last cookie. Um, and then Jerry says, thanks, friend. At which point Rick is pissed because now he's no longer immortal. Uh, and then we get to the end of the episode where they're in the zoo. And uh, I guess people are just eating a bunch of zebra snacks. And then they start killing each other. And then they realize, oh, it's a human zoo. They're, they're in a human zoo. Um... So, yeah, I mean, there's there's the end of the episode. Where's that Where's that nice little image? Hold on, let's go back to it. Let's find it. Oh, no, I skipped over it. Oh, oh, nope, too far, too far. Let's get there. We'll get it. We'll get to spot. We'll get it somewhere. It's somewhere in here. I'll find it. Maybe, perhaps. No, I can't get this. I can't get it. Let's just play it. Let's play it for like two seconds. There we go. There's your thumbnail. Thumbnail for the day. But, um... Minus my uh, crappy internet connection and or too many people watching Rick and Morty because I know everybody seems to love the show. A lot of people are watching it. Um, excellent episode overall. I thought it was a really weird concept. They are going a little bit hard with the incest, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, you know, the whole last season with Naruto, the giant incest space baby, and now Jerry uh, effing his mom. It's kind of weird. Um... Which is why, uh, you know, I'm kind of knocking it a couple of points. You know, which probably giving it like a 7, just because 7 or 8, somewhere around there. Definitely not getting a 10. Um, so minus that fact, um, it was a good episode. I enjoyed the fighting. I enjoyed the sequences. I enjoyed the animation, the storytelling. It was a nice little adventure episode. But, uh, dude, dude, like, like relax with with the whole incest thing i think a lot of people are getting like why why does this keep coming back like, we thought it was done we thought you know you had the naruto space incest baby but no you're, you're bringing it back like, like 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 it gets to the point where he's almost diddling his own mother like come on dude no C cut it out i understand like something like this would be it's funny because it happens to jerry or uh, people think it's funny but no no that is not funny uh that is gross um and just like no and it's enough with the creepy incest stuff. It's 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 throw it is. It's, they're starting to throw me off. I didn't as I said. I, I didn't initially think. I, I didn't look into it. I, mean, I did not look too much into it when I first did it. But now it's getting to a point where uh, they keep uh, kind of reusing that same old joke, uh, and it's kind of concerning. 
But uh, yeah, maybe this will be my clip too. This little little, little uh, spiel might be my clip for the episode as well. But um, yeah, 7 out of 10. We'll go with it because incest, that's why. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, bell. Let me know what you want to see for future cartoon and anime related videos. And hopefully I get monetized by the 15th. Because if I don't, if I do not get monetized by the 15th and they reject me again, uh, that, that might be all, be all she wrote. I might just try to, uh, you know, I got a thousand, like I meet, I meet all the requirements, so, so maybe I'll just try to sell the old channel on eBay or something for a couple hundred bucks. We'll see what happens. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.